I'll be the first to admit that when Blackmagic announced the 6K full frame, I thought, are you fuck kidding me? How dare you release another pocket cinema camera looking ass body? But then curiosity got the better of me because, you know, at the end of the day, all I've really ever wanted was a nice full frame, large format sensor from Blackmagic. I want all that juice, all that Blackmagic sauce that they put into their color science. I want B-Raw. I want open gate recording. And you know what? To get that, I might have to look over some things that maybe I don't love all that much. So my friends over at Blackmagic were kind enough to send me the new 6K full frame. And I shot a really fun project with it. If you've seen Gerald Undone's X106 review, we shot that entirely on the 6K full frame with none other than this little guy, which is the Lumix 20 to 60 kit lens, like an F35 to 5.6, I hit my camera, sorry. Just a cheap little kit lens. I think this camera is gonna be a future classic, kind of like the OG Pocket where it just found its own little audience later on. I just shot a documentary on the Alexa Mini LF and I think if I was to do the next one, if I'm gonna do another block of interviews, cinematic interviews, whatever you wanna call it, I don't think I'd rent the Mini LF again because I can get 99% of that image quality with the 6K full frame. And for the price of a rental of a Mini LF for a couple of weeks, I can buy the 6K full frame. If I did corporate work, documentaries, if I was constantly filming things that were on tripods and I just needed a really great, clean, easy to work with image, there's no other camera out right now that matches what the 6K full frame can do. If you're a running gun shooter that is doing corporate event stuff and you need autofocus, this isn't the camera for you. There's a plenty of cameras out there. Grab an FX3, FX30, grab a Lumix, whatever. Those cameras are the ones that will fit that tool for that job. I bet you in a couple of years, maybe five years or so, we're gonna look back at this camera like a lot of people are looking back at the Sigma FP. They're looking back at the original pocket cinema camera as a pivotal moment, like a really, inexpensive, high image quality camera that probably in the next three, four years will be a thousand bucks, 1500 bucks. It's gonna easily cut down to half the price of MSRP right now. That's nuts. Think about the fact that this is a camera that has a sensor that is similar to like a V-Raptor or a Venice, which is full frame. And those cameras are getting certified for IMAX. The Blackmagic's probably never gonna get certified for IMAX, but there's no question it would be able to play in an IMAX theater and not a single freaking person would be able to know that it was on a little Blackmagic camera that costs less than three grand. In a few years, you'll get that for a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks, nuts, just nutty. And now I wanna speculate a little bit. I know nothing on the internal workings of Blackmagic. I'm friends with them now. They let me borrow this camera and they're a great company to deal with, but I know nothing about any future plans for a different body, anything, but I will speculate. I have worked with a lot of camera manufacturers now and from everything I've learned from working with these companies in early phases, beta testing some things here and there, is that it takes a long time to make a camera. And Blackmagic is a smaller company particularly in the world of cameras. They cannot compete with the R&D and lead time and just being able to test things out like they can with a Sony or a Canon or a Nikon or even Lumix. So when they get a new sensor and an L mount, what are they gonna do? They're gonna put it in a body they already have. They've already got the molds and everything for that 6K camera. So what they're gonna do is just throw that sensor in an existing body and get it out to us. But they are not a stupid company, okay? And I don't want you guys to think of it like, oh, they're just playing with us. I can't believe they're giving us another pocket cinema camera when all we want is a cube, all we want is another Ursa, whatever. They know, they're not stupid. They're obviously listening to everybody that is out there talking about form factors. And I can't guarantee anything, I can only speculate, but I feel like this is a path forward to more full frame cameras. Throw this full frame sensor in an Ursa and I, my interest might be peaked even more. It doesn't necessarily have to be a cube. I just don't want a hybrid style, chunky ass little camera. Give me something that's a little bit more modular and easy to work with, with a screen on the side of it as opposed to the back of it. And we're smooth sailing. But as it is right now, it's so hard to complain about this camera because of the price point and what it gives you. And so even though I was an early dismisser of it because I was like, I can't do another one of these bodies. I was a pocket 4K shooter for so long. I can't do that body anymore. The sensor's just so damn nice in this thing. And having full frame and L-mount, which I think L-mount is fantastic. I'm a Lumix shooter as well, and I think there's a lot of promise for L-mount as an ecosystem of lenses. It's good stepping stones. And I think it's worth even buying one of these cameras at its current MSRP, especially if you wanna make films and do documentaries, and especially if you do stuff on sticks where you're not doing crazy handheld stuff, this thing is just beautiful. So do not dismiss this thing. This camera's truly a classic as it is right now, but for sure, I can't believe that in a couple years this thing will be a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks. That is a classic cinema camera that I will easily add to my arsenal 
for having that image quality that's at that tier that usually is unattainable for a lot of filmmakers. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the 6K full frame. I think it kind of speaks for itself. Uh, those are my thoughts on it. We'll probably do some more stuff with Blackmagic in the future, hopefully, but yeah, that's it. See ya. Thank you.